How the devil are we, folks? I've just set all of the fermenters onto chill mode. So we're going to cold crash down to four degrees. So fingers crossed, maybe Wednesday or Thursday this week, I will be able to actually fetch some of that vacant gesture out and put it into cask. We've already got quite a bit of the vacant gesture in keg. And then we've got the birthday beer for Jim and Josh at Beerheads. 60-30 we're calling it because guess how old they are. That's right, 29 and 56. No, no. 60 and 30, of course. Uh, and then I did another batch of uh, an Ella experimental beer. So fingers crossed, that's going to come out nicely. And uh, I've tasted them all. They taste all right. So we'll get that into cask maybe Thursday, Wednesday, maybe. So I've put together an epic to-do list today. There is so much to complete and this isn't even comprehensive. We actually have lots of stuff that uh, I've forgotten to put on here. You know, for one, for instance, sink in bar. I need to install the sink in the bar. There's lots to do, lots and lots to do. So I'm going to shoot next door, have a look how everything's going. Uh, and show you something. Uh, it's a bit of a treat especial whilst we get in there. So come with me. Nice work, buddy. It's uh, goes quite a long way. <laughs> it does, yeah. So, all the back room's been done. I think that looks so much more impressive, man. So much more impressive. Cleaner. Yeah, it does. It brings it up. Everybody wants to know. All I know is that I flow. You will not get another marriage. Not as bright as we hope, still. No, no that's why I still have, in that middle section. You need to put that out. In that middle section having um, a light feature there instead of that. I was going to put some separate lights for each table. Yeah. So each table would have a light on it. I think that's just mood, isn't it? Mood lighting more yeah. than anything else. Just make a feature of the glass in the doors. Mm. Right, check this out. I'm making this hot track. Motherfuckers check this shit. What's the deal with the drumming stick? This I'm open to explosion, rendition, pure electromagnetic groove. Oh sir, oh yes it's true. All I hear is ho ho ho, turn off the radio, pop up that dumb rams, and raise up all your hands. Scream MC Colors and all shit. Yeah, MC Colors and all shit. MC Colors in the house, yeah. MC Colors in the house, yeah. Well, another somewhat brief addition to the vlog today. Uh, I've just shot up to Dave and Sarah's. I'm going the wrong way with the white balance. Uh, I've managed to acquire some tin sheeting off them. Really rusty. It is really, really rusty, so hopefully we'll be able to somehow clean that up, get some clear coat varnish on there, and get it installed, plywood backed and framed onto the front of the bar. Hopefully then, getting us one step closer to being completed. We've got the taps in now. I'll dry fit everything to have a good look and see it, if it all lined up and uh, it looked the nuts. It does. Now the chore comes tomorrow, I've got to take it all back out again and put more varnish on. Everything needs more varnish, more, more, more varnish. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna shoot across or send somebody tomorrow to screw fix and get some of their yacht varnish. I keep trying all these different types of varnish and uh, I can't find one that is like a coffee nail rock hard. That's what I really want to achieve. But we'll crack on with it tomorrow and see, uh, see what the results are. Um, I suppose I use all the rest of the varnish that I've got to just coat over the top of the galvanized sheets 
they're not galvanized anymore they're more rusty sheets but I'll go over the top of the sheets with that hopefully sealing the rust in preventing it getting any worse preventing it getting on anybody's clothes and uh, yeah we'll take it from there so uh, catch up with us tomorrow we'll see you then